Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please abiding by Zagathrith Plus. We've been mired in curse. If you don't believe that we were cursed, by the way, I want to point out, didn't get a deal with the devil on our second floor despite earning it because the boss room was too small. Let's not even talk about the stats. MEA2. I hope not. Uh, that was not a joke about Me Too. That was a joke about Mass Effect Andromeda 2 that I'm now heading off at the pass. B89A. We've got... Egghead, get off the screen. Don't tell me to get off the screen. This, we got it like the, uh, this is like a Benedictine monk hair. This is the kind of receding hairline. I feel like you don't see it that much anymore, where it starts from like one singular spot at the back of the head and then moves forward. My hair did not work like that. I lost it at the temples. It's super weird. Like, it's, I mean, it's very normal. But it's weird when it happens to you. Because now, like, some days, or some weeks, I'll just not shave. And you realize, like, dude, it's been like 12 years or something like that. Man, eh, maybe 10 years since I shaved my head. It doesn't grow back the same as it did when I first started. Even then, I was balding then, but now it's like... It's getting ridiculous. Like, the sides grow in, like they didn't get the memo that the rest of the hair is taking the rest of my lifetime off. And the back grows in, like I'm trying to grow a Hulk Hogan sc uh, style skullet, but the top is just like, nah, man. Nah, we worked hard enough. I'm not, you know, sore about it. Been bald for a long time. The majority... Like, almost exclusively bald during my adult life. This is a unique experience. Doesn't happen to most people. Unless you're like Michael Rosenbaum. Get cast on Smallville when you're like 10 years old. Either way, though. You really like... You know, if you want to maintain different levels of hair on different parts of your head, it's tough. It grows at different levels. And it's different types, too. Like, the hair on top of my head is like... Wisps. The hair on the side of my head is like steel wool. It won't go anywhere. Well, unless you shave it. Dude, straight up, crack the sky better than black hole. Both kind of interesting. There is something to do with black hole I'm remembering now. Grab this. Come down here. You never know how valuable this one moment may be. Two spirit hearts for me. With no bombs, it's viable. Anyway, I promised you anecdotes. We did lose the last episode. I think, I mean, I'm not going to say we deserved to lose. I thought we played okay, and we just kind of got screwed. We probably made some mistakes we, that I don't even recognize, but should recognize at this point. But it was not a, an easy or good run. I feel like range upgrades of like, it's the range month or something like that. Can't shake a stick without getting a range upgrade that is effectively completely meaningless. So I have an anecdote for you. I have an anecdote, it's about, well, it's not really an anecdote, it's more of a conversation. We were talking on the NLSS yesterday about movie ticket prices. What is a standard matinee movie ticket price where you live? And give me the three distinctions, okay? Give me new movie in 3D. New movie not in 3D. On like a Friday or a Saturday. Old-ish movie on a Tuesday. Because I'll tell you straight up, I think non-3D standard movie ticket price here is like $12.50 Canadian. And I actually have been of the opinion that that's fairly reasonable. I don't know why movie tickets always end up being the thing whenever, like, older people complain about the cost of doing things. They always act like movie tickets are the most egregious expense in a modern economy. They are, they can be expensive. But, like, the ticket is secondary to the snacks, as everybody knows. That's why they're like, you know, don't buy snacks. It's not that expensive of a night out for two people to have a couple, uh... Hours of enter entertainment for 30 bucks or, you know, 30 bucks with tax. But I saw a post, uh, because, you know, I'm in Vancouver and the housing costs here are insane. Fully ridiculous. And I, this is probably filling a spot in the bingo card as well. But um, 
I saw some person on Twitter posted like, we'll just pull up your bootstraps and save harder. To buy a house, I didn't see a movie for 20 years. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that by not going to the movie theater for 20 years, you could save $1.4 million. The more you... Like, these people live their lives thinking that they're just better. <laughs> because they never face scrutiny for these idiotic things that they say. And it is idiotic, I'm sorry. I'm not saying she's an idiot. The thing she said was idiotic. Nobody on planet Earth has spent 1.4 million dollars on movie tickets in 20 years except like Howard Hughes. Maybe Tommy Wiseau. This is madness. Your converse, your, the comment you make is just, it's not backed up by anything. But anyway, it's like gas prices I get when people are like, ah, gas is a buck 62 a liter. I'm like, I feel you. I fill up my car once every two months because we drive so rarely. But if you commute to work, uh, by car, often, Wow. Uh, I, I can see how that would be extremely annoying. But a movie ticket. I mean, if two people saw a movie every week, let's say the tickets are 10 bucks even, 20 bucks to go out and see a movie. That's $1,000 a year. Not cheap. All things considered, over the course of like one human lifetime, it's not that, that, that. It's not the kind of money where you're like, you know, you gotta start worrying about it. Uh, well, I mean, I, that's not what I mean. I'm trying to tread delicately here. What I mean is more, that's not the kind of money that takes you from like, I can't buy a house into, I can buy a house. Give me death's list. We're gonna shoot for the friggin' moon here on this. Y yet another cursed run. We have an 18 rated fire, but we're working on it, okay? Same, it's a, these... Idiots <laughs> who are like, well, if you want to buy a house, stop buying a cup of coffee every day. I'm like, oh, really? Well, if I buy a $2 cup of coffee every single day, that's $700 a year. I might buy, I mean, I don't buy a cup of coffee every day. When I buy a cup of coffee, it's probably $3.50. I'm killing it. <laughs> I can justify paying 3 bucks for a cup of coffee a couple times a week before school. It doesn't bother me in the least. I want bombs, please. I'm just saying, you know, if you're out there and you're going, well, you, again, everyone made fun of the guy. It was like, stop eating so much avocado toast. It's the kind of thing that doesn't matter as much as you seem to think it matters for whatever reason. Please, God, I don't know what to do here. Let me go. I'm out. We have all these weird skews for movies as well, because we have like a... Premier Theater, which is, I, I think, their word for, like, where they try out weird stuff. Hey! What did we get there? We got we got a consumable drop. There's no way we're gonna complete this room. We can't even. Yeah, okay. So now, like, sometimes I don't even know what I want when I go to the movie theater. Do I want to see it in 3D? You're gonna hate me for this. Most of the time, the answer is yes. You know why? 3D movies get nicer theaters. I wear glasses. I don't like wearing glasses over top of my glasses. But, I want to be in the nice theater. I want to be in the theater where you pick your own seat. I'll pay a little extra for 3D. I will pay extra for D-Box as well, because D-Box is stupid and hilarious. D-Box is when you sit in the chair. It's not like a roller coaster, but it kind of it pitches and yaws and shakes a little bit. It doesn't shoot... I see people that have never been in D-Box, they're like, yeah, when, when there's water on the screen, it shoots water into your face and, like, pipe smells into the room. No, it doesn't. The chair does not pipe smells into the room. Alright, maybe other movie theaters it does, but not here. The only time I've ever seen that is at the Vancouver Aquarium. Let me out. This run is also cursed. Yet another cursed run right now. Like, what are you supposed to do on this room? I'm looking at this room. And I don't... I have an 18 rate of fire and 3.1 damage. What's what's your master plan here? We shot all the poops. Not gonna quite do it for us. We could have gone back and gotten the uh, battery charge, but then that means that we don't have a battery charge available. We, we used it to get one quarter of a full charge, which is pretty bad. This is horrible. So I'll pay extra for D-Box. Then sometimes they have AVX. Which is just better sound, and I'm like, you know what? I do appreciate the sound in a movie theater, but I'm not paying extra for better sounds. So it's almost like, you know, when you order something at like a fancy restaurant. Like, you have any food allergies? You're like, nah. 
Just give me the movie. You want AVX with that? Nah, it's okay. You know, a fancy restaurant like Chipotle. Um, you want to see that in D-Box? You know what? Sure, I'll go. Oh, thank you. I might as well kill you at this point, just so we, if we backtrack, we don't have to go through the room again. Sure, I'll take it in D-Box. Do you want to buy the movie on Blu-ray before you've even seen the movie? No, and does anybody ever do that? That's crazy. I feel like that's actually, like, illegal marketing. It's like, hey, you know that movie you're about to see? How would you like to own it before you even see it? You're like, ah. Wouldn't at all like to do that. So, by the way, if you're wondering, NL, what's your strat? Very simple. Death's list does, frig, represent a chance to get out of the doldrums. But we have to be able to use it. There's two big things going on. One is death's list. Try to use it. The other one, crack the sky. Use it. Efficiently use it on rooms that are tough. Champion enemies, lots of enemies, tanky enemies. Like this room with a spawner, absolutely, I'll take you up on it. I'm not trying to spin a narrative of like, oh, poor pitiful me and Isaac. You know, a lot of the time we get amazing runs in Isaac with an Eden start. This one is just, and and a, a couple of the recent ones on top of it are just so insanely terrible. I mean, what are you spinning as a positive? Egghead blocked some damage and did give us one extra spear at heart. Amazing. You can do this one. It's not going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be absurdly slow. We've almost got one. There we go. One down. All right. Number two. Oh, gotta be close. Yo, let's go. Okay. Don't even... I don't care about the damage. Give me tears. Give me tears. So our speed is bad. Our HP is bad. We've only been hit once or twice. We got a spear at heart. It's something, at least. Um, our rate of fire is horrible and our damage is really bad. Everything... The, the space bar item was fine. Everything else about this run was doomed. It's up, it's up to us to recover from that doom. Every decision has to be towards an express purpose. Just blow it up. Sure. Even bombs are very, very valuable right now. You're looking for anything you can get there. You know what? Alright. Shouldn't have done that. You know where my head's at here. These are not... Very tanky enemies. If I can wander around and enable Death's List to possibly give me something, we gotta take them up on the offer. I hate it. What about anything you've seen of me playing this game makes you think that, like, I'm enjoying this style of run right now? It should be nothing. You get out of here, please. But the one... Th Five cents. <laughs> the one thing keeping me going right now is the idea that if we win... Oh, that's so huge. If we win, it'll be like a masterful victory. Because of all the hoops we've had to jump through. Hey, a luck upgrade. Why? Uh, this is a tough one, man. I want both of these. It's not tough at all. I will buy both of these. Start there. You know, you got the seed, by the way. You think you're a, you think you're a hot shot? Go do it. See if I care. Beat the run. Maybe it's better if you don't get to deal with the devil or something like that. I don't know. More power to you. No, death's list. That was dumb, and yet completely understandable as well. Please be a tears... Oh, you just walk right into it. Yeah. Please be a tears upgrade. Poop. What a, what a metaphor. I have given up on Death's List temporarily because it's extremely annoying. 
Hematemesis. Incredible. Well, we, we hit him. Um, we should be able to make Death's List work here. Except, he does create these things. So we gotta kill him before we kill those. Which is never gonna happen. We, we don't even want it to happen. Of course, by saying that, I want it to happen and I'm actively working towards making it happen. But I shouldn't be. Let's stop this. That'll do. I wanted to be clear, if I die here, it is not because of our stupid, like, refusing to shoot these. It's because this run is trash city. Amazing. We get a bone heart. Alright, we're down to the next floor. How do I feel about this run? It's horrible! No, I can't. Hilarious. I have to. I have to play you. But I need to... Make sure I got a little HP first. It's a little bit of a weird one, but sure. Oh, this is doable. So all I'm... Please tell me that counted. Go ahead. We're getting something going on here. And it's mostly like a direct result of being able to use our charges more. Hit the spider, dude. Come on. Ah, they walked into the fire. That shouldn't count. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 75% chance of a deal with the devil. Just focus on the pot. 75% chance of a deal with the devil. And we got some spirit hearts we could use to furnish that. I ask you. From the bottom of my broken heart like Britney Spears. Give me some tools. That I can use to win this run. Tools that are not merely bombs. Hey, hey, don't blow up your friend, please. I'm in the middle of trying to make death's list work. Stop. We're in there, Mike Tyson. In the pocket. What are you talking to? You killed a fly. You killed a neutral fly. This is why death's list is actually bad. And yet simultaneously my only hope. Whatever, you got me. Haha. Uh -huh. You might think I'm overstating. You might not, by the way. You might think I'm overstating this, though. I oh, and hell, it's not that hard. Take it from somebody. I got more train wrecks under my belt than the average Isaac player. This is a train wreck in waiting. We're actually. This is train wreck station. The only thing that we need in order to make it a legitimate train wreck is either no deal with the devil or a deal with the devil that is comically not good and yet we have to take it anyway. We're taking this because bone hearts don't count as red hearts. Oh, okay. It, it, things have changed, obviously. Uh, start there. Then take Gimpy. Still, this is still bad. And you're going to say, NL, come on. No, it is. We have a 56 rate of fire. The same amount of damage. The only thing that's changed is we got great piercing shots right now. So if we can get some damage, there's a victory lying in wait on this run. But for now, look at that. That's all you need to see, I'm sure. In order to understand why I'm perturbed with this run. If you didn't buy it before, you better friggin' buy it now. It takes us six seconds to charge up a brimstone shot that does like one-eighth of one percent of this guy's HP. I don't know if this door will ever open for us, by the way. Because we willingly chose to come in here. Well, at least we're going to get a black card out of it. Which probably represents uh, the most damage we will ever do. This is the worst thing ever. Great devil room, by the way. We might have been better off with little brimstone. That's how cursed we are. 
I had all these movie anecdotes lined up, and yet, well, I wouldn't get too sore about it, because <laughs> you might just die, and honestly, that would be kind of a merciful end to this run. By the way, if you're like, why aren't you dodging? Oh, I'm trying. It's just that this guy's a champion, and uh, he makes creep, and I have 0 0.89 speed. So even when I'm moving... He can hit me. Thank God. No, the spiders. Every shot has to be like a 10 out of 10. I see you, spider. I see you, Varus. I'm actually being sincere when I say this is probably the worst Brimstone related run we've ever had. This is one of the least tanky enemies, well one of the least tanky bosses you could possibly face right now. And yet here I am. Doing everything I can. Holding on to what I have, pretending I'm a Superman. Thank you. Oh my god, Demon's Tail. We have to check. We, we have to leverage our HP into something, you know, more valuable. Like two troll bombs. And we still haven't been to the item room. This caves two. 20 minutes into the run. No big deal. I'm taking the stretch. You know why I'm taking the stretch? Because frig you, buddy. Okay, okay. No, this is, this is fine. Just don't kill the poops after you kill this guy. You got a death's list chance. It was surgical. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. You almost tricked me on that one. Get out of the way. We've done it. It's a freaking shot speed increase. How? <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, that didn't count, apparently. My mistake. I thought I was uh, a genius. For doing what you asked. Instead, that's not what you wanted. So, my bad. Um, okay, Dark Bum. I want to point out, still train wreck. You know why? We got HP-related items. We still need Ray to Fire more than anything else. Damage would be not a catastrophic loss. I'm doing one more room. Death would be a, a mercy right now. Oh, okay, cool. Just jump in front of the shot so there's no chance for me to get a statistical bonus. I really appreciate it and all that. Yo, though, you know what I'm seeing here is a chance. That's right, a chance. Usually not a secret room, but yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. The chance has eroded, and I, I feel like a fool forever suggesting it was plausible. But we will get a death's list. Ah, no, we won't. Disregard. My mistake. Lots of money, though. Certainly did get a lot of money right there. And a luck upgrade. Hmm, what are you complaining about? Brimstone and a luck upgrade. Must be your birthday. Well, I'll be leaving this floor. Probably got about four times stronger on that floor, but that still leaves us at zero. Nope. The one thing I will say, there is a win on this run. It's hiding, and it's doing a darn good job of it. We get red hearts. Mm. No death list will ever occur here. Help. Beautiful. We get red hearts, turn them into spirit hearts. Then we have protection. We use that protection. Nah, nah, nah. To give us basically more time, more tolerance to. You know, get better items. When we eventually get those better items, that's where the win resides. You gotta love it, dude. Just want any relevant statistical bonus. Will never occur. Gotta use it. These guys are too too spicy. Where you at? Two turntables and a microphone. 
Okay, one at a time. Easy. Just six seconds per enemy. Relatively normal situation. Hello. Your isolation has doomed you. Ah. Even a speed upgrade would not even be nice. It's essential. We've still got Maggie's, like, default level of speed. Are you kidding me? No! Okay, that was a, a bit of a sell to begin with. Admittedly. Yes. To immediately hermit me out of this. Thank you. I think we do want a battery charge. We don't want to use these on every room. Oh, it's a boss fight. Please, please. Shouldn't have to tell you, by the way, the world card also strikes me as being outrageously valuable. The less rooms we have to do, I mean, the run becomes so, so, so much easier. Oh, the charge time. This is what I can't even muster even the slightest anecdote. We should have done one more room. Yep. You know what? There's... Start working on you with the, the twin skills that I have at my disposal. Very, very slowly charging up a shot and then hitting you with one of my bombs, which I would much rather be using for an alternative purpose. We're in like some Highline Miami territory. Where I find myself like wanting to talk to you and be like, does this make you feel good? Watching a grown man struggle like this? <laughs> what does that say about you? By the way, can I can I be a little bit upset about how Horror of Babylon does not work uh, when you have a bone heart that has red hearts in it, yet simultaneously you cannot use a bone heart with red hearts in it to pay for a deal with the devil that costs red hearts. Just saying, you know, if you could find it in your heart to muster, like, a little bit more uh, damage for me, I could probably find it in my heart to be distracted enough to not care about inconsistencies like that. But, you know, you ever encounter one of those situations? Usually it happens at, a, at work. You know, you're, everything's going great. You know, your boss does things that annoy you, you probably do things that annoy your boss. Then one day, he's like, hey, could you not, like, wear those shoes? Could you go out and buy new shoes and pay for them yourself? Because those shoes are not professional. And then all of a sudden, you enter this, like, malicious, uh, malicious compliance. Where you come in the next day wearing clown shoes. And you go, is this better? And they go, this is ridiculous. And you go, well, the company handbook, any footwear for religious purposes is allowed at the office. I am part of the religion of clowning. So, you know, that's where we're at. I thought me and Isaac had a good working relationship. Isaac and I. And then, they hit me with a run like this. And all of a sudden, I don't think we have a good working relationship. It's clear that all of that was fraudulent. So basically, screw you. Give me what I paid for. I want Horror Babylon. To give me some stats. Because I paid for him. Otherwise, how am I supposed to lose this bone heart? Otherwise, can't be done. Money equals power. It's damage. Oh my god. This is like a, a complete so you're saying there's a chance sort of moment coming out in and on here. These, as far as I'm concerned, ideal chest. Give me more keys. Hey, and the ability to fly as well. Have we done it? No, no, no. Okay, now it's better. I would stop very short of saying that it's good, but it will probably feel good as a result of the fact that things have been so bad for so long. So I, I really do think this is probably where we can start to think that there's a realistic chance of some kind of victory happening on today's run. And that's exciting. We deserve this, by the way. 
Mostly for that mega fatty, uh, mega ma room. Oh, that's a stretch and a half. Oh. oh. Why does stretching feel... <laughs> Why does stretching feel so good? It really is, like, the briefest but most joyous motion that a human can make. Now, I'm not talking about... Uh, you know, you go to yoga class and they're like, hey, stretch. That's highly uncomfortable. <laughs> the yeah, we'll start this way. I'm talking about, like, when you just feel like you want to do a stretch and then you, like, arms forward into the air, praise in the sun, arch your back. Why does that feel so good? Your muscles have been sitting dormant for too long or something like that. The stretch is, like, frees them, provides comfort. It's like sliding a warm blanket all over your entire body. We got a halo of flies. Oh, restock. Ah, but we don't want to spend too much. No, 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 no. We can spend a little. And we can spend a lot if it's worth it. Uh, man, I wish we had the world card still. I'm not going to take blank card per throw. I will take Red Candle. I know we just lost some damage as a result of that. I really feel like Red Candle um, is better than Brimstone right now. Normally, I would not like those. By the way, we should use a Perthrow back here. We're on the depths too. 29 minutes. Boys, it's happening. I think we got this now. Perthrow. I don't really want BFF, but I, I, let's keep trying. Potato peeler still it's not gonna get us any closer to uh to being able to get Horror of Babylon. Not that Horror of Babylon's even that useful anymore, but Okay. Like the charge on the brimstone is still too slow. Maybe we can use red candle to just carry us. Beautiful. Until we get some tears upgrades, which will probably happen. But might take some time. Oh, okay. Free deaths list. AKA free bomb. Amazing. What a great item. <laughs> Everybody has these anecdotes, you know? Oh, I, uh... Use deaths list. I got eight free damage on one run. That's amazing. I use deaths list. I got a shot speed upgrade when I already had brimstone and about a thousand consumables of no usefulness whatsoever. So, you know... Who's winning? It's not like I'm bitter about it or anything. We gotta shed the attitude, because pretty soon it's gonna be a bad look for us. Because the run is gonna be good, by the way. Yes, I did buy Red Candle and then never use it. Let's change that. Especially on uh, bosses that stand still-ish. It's gonna be really good. It's not still-ish, it's stiller. It's like you've never watched Zoolander. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on, tears upgrade. It's a range upgrade! Are you kidding me? If you summon anything, don't. It's another shot speed upgrade. We got luck as well, um, but that wasn't from that. Death's List gave us a shot speed upgrade. It's painful. Even this floor, I have to think, you're never gonna make it happen here, but I have to think we're going slower than you would have to go to make boss rush on an average room. As embarrassing as that is right now. We've, we've sped up an unbelievable amount. Still probably a little bit too slow. One of these days, Death's List is going to give us a relevant statistic, and man, that's going to be a good one. It's not going to be today, though. Damage continues to rise. And you can see this is a really good test for our damage, actually. Again, I'm not trying to make it seem like this run is so screwed now that we couldn't possibly win. It's not like that anymore. We have so much defense, we will almost certainly win. 
But you can see when we get a fully torqued brimstone shot after charging it for 10 seconds, when it hits the eye, you know, like a big pizza pie, it's a pittance. <laughs> And Red Candle just, like, grossly outclasses it, thankfully. Well, I mean, we definitely want this. And again, it's just the... You know, screw it. I actually think we take it, because it's a speed upgrade. Rotten Baby should be pretty good now. It's not beholden to our tier stat, thankfully. It scales with our damage, which is good already. Nah, oh well, you know. We need pennies, unfortunately. Pennies have started to be worth less. I don't, or like worth less damage, I should say. I don't know why, but uh, it's just yet, yet another thing to question on this run. They used to be worth 0.05, now they're worth 0.04. I don't know if it's because we crossed like the 50% threshold. I don't know what that would do about it, but you know, human brains design a look for patterns. That's what I'm looking for right now. We screwed up our own deaths list there. That's fair. You should look guppy, you know? Heard of it? I will still, like, even though the run is now fairly strong. This one has to go down in the pantheon of terrible starts. It's especially, uh, again, I don't believe that I'm actually cursed. I don't believe that, like, cursing exists. Cussing, yes. Cursing, no. But when you combine this with the last run, you start to believe in the idea that maybe there's, like, some, uh, Cosmic force working against you. And by start to believe, I mean don't believe at all, but it is kind of a coincidence. You know how I, uh, I can't believe that in today's day and age, there are still people who believe ghosts exist. I'm not really trying to offend you if you do believe that ghosts exist. And in the end, if you have an experience in your life, Preferably since you were an adult and you become more of a reliable narrator. But if you have an experience in your life where you're like, I saw an apparition or like a ghost spoke to me and it totally wasn't sleep paralysis and blah 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 blah. There's nothing I can do to explain that in such a way that would, you know, satisfy both of us. However, I have to imagine if there was ever a real ghost sighting, it would spread in the media so quickly in today's day and age. Like, if you believed in ghosts in the 1700s, it's another range upgrade. <laughs> of, you would be smart to believe in ghosts in the 1700s. You know why? Probably you had like six or seven people that told you that ghosts exist. You got no idea. There's no Snopes. You're like, sure. Ghosts exist. My mom told me she saw one. Are you calling my mom a liar? No. Today's day and age. I have to imagine if ghosts were real, they'd be on the news more often. And it's the same thing where people were like, well, the news would cover it up. Mmm, could they though? If they, you know if there was a ghost, there would be like a vertically shot cell phone video of it going, hey! <laughs> hey, it's a ghost, dude! Top comment would be, flip your camera. God. I beg of you. We're 39 minutes into this Isaac run. I have... Goathead. Please free me... From this torture. Amazing, it's gonna work. We got ten five cents out of it. Just let me go, okay? I've I've done what you wanted. Now give me back my son. We made the run work in auspicious circumstances. All I request from you, my friend, is some damage. Or dare I say it. Oh my lord, yes. 
I'll, I'll take the chance on this. Give me a rate of fire increase. We're 30 floors into the game. All I want is a rate of fire increase. That's it. One rate of fire increase. I'm a happy camper. We played your deaths list games, okay? Ah, range. Don't forget about the Luxstad. Oh, cool. These are solid, solid choices. Well, if you'll excuse me. See, you never. It's like my fifth stretch of the video. It's a classic situation where I'm like, maybe I can fit in two Isaac episodes before the NLSS starts. Nope. <laughs> maybe I can fit in one Isaac episode before the NLSS starts. Whatever, hit me. I'm invincible. I can't be killed. That's part of the problem. It's like a Magneto situation. Not Magneto. Who can't be killed? Yeah, the Incredible Hulk. He can't be killed. I put a gun in my mouth. The green man woke up and spat out the bullet. It says something like that, I can't remember. I just don't know what to say here. No one should ever be cursed with an Isaac run. The 56 rate of fire. I, again. This is where, you know, we're this kind of pre-booster pack uh, rhetoric. But. So this feel like there's been a few too many items added to the game. Don't necessarily have any chance to contribute to a victory. How many range upgrades have we gotten? And I want to give you one thing straight here as well. How many damage upgrades have we gotten? One. Money equals power. It's a good damage upgrade. Don't get me wrong. How many tiers upgrades have we gotten? Zero. I think. Not exactly like the most encouraging statistics. Starts to make you wonder what's going on behind the scenes in the troll engine. Really, this is just like... I've got like a latent anger about this run. The, the damage stat is actually fine now. Not great, but probably around like, you know, just a little bit above average thanks to the piercing effect. Alright, alright. It's just hard to get yourself back on the commentary horse after you spend half an hour being like... It takes four minutes to kill every room, and then when you finally do it via the arbitrary conditions they've imposed. You get, like, uh, a shot speed upgrade and two range upgrades. We're starting to pull it out, though. All it took was 85 cents money equals power. Rodden, baby. Goathead. And etc. etc. We should be happy. Or at least, happy is not the right word. Happy and thankful are two very different emotions. We should be thankful we're alive. I'd be happy if we got a lot of damage here. Yes. Yes. No. We don't need it. Alright, let me check in on this Skype conversation here. Hello. I'm always down for Realm Royale. Code names. We should probably skip both of those. Unfortunately, played um, a bunch this week. What about some Jackbox, though? <laughs> I have no idea. It's gonna be a late docket plan, I'll tell you that much right off the bat. When I'm mid-Isaac episode, giving docket directions at 145 to crickets, that's how you know things are gonna be in a a problematic situation. Forget Death's List, you know? I kind of got to get a little selfish. I got to get a little what have you done for me lately. Death's List is not worth spending the time and possibly also the spirit hearts 
that we have to spend in order to make it work for us. I will open this because there's red chests. There's a red chest. We're using every tool at our disposal. This is like, you know, go uh, place a bomb, use rotten baby. Now you got poison bombs. The bomb turned into poison. Now drop a little fart on him with the bad gas pill. Now charge up brimstone in the meantime because it takes 25 minutes. I don't know why. The game punishes one of its loyal servants like this. Uh, you know, I've got a self-flagellate or something like that. But this run is self-flagellation. Not flagellation. That's... Oh, and you eat too many legumes. When you can kill these guys in one hit, that's when I'll give up my uh, my right to complain. Until then, I'm protecting my constitutional rights. No one else will do it for you. Boards of Canada. It's a speed upgrade. They've actually done it. I've gotten, finally, my first useful... Upgrade from Des- Another speed upgrade! It's finally happened. I don't even care about it. I don't know why I'm picking those up now that I think about it, but... Okay, this is the money maker. There's no way you're gonna get Death's List working here. It would be hilarious. The flies or even the beams are gonna betray you, though. To just be ignoring the angel fetuses the entire time is a very stupid but hilarious play. And take it from me, I embody both of those traits, or at least attempt to. Walked right into it. We're free. Just hit him. Just hit him. I abandoned the charge. That's on me. I feel like if I ever get Brimstone again in, like, the next few days, I'm gonna think it's the strongest item ever invented. Because, assuming my rate of fire is normal. Why? The frustration is starting to boil over a little bit. These are all not very useful. Continuum does nothing. Celtic Cross will do something, but of the most minor benefit. Everything else is a space bar item, substantially worse than the one we already hold. Did I kill somebody in a past life? Oh my god, it's our first genuine damage upgrade. Money equals power is better. I'm mostly just trying to phrase it in the most incendiary way possible. But who's going to complain about a 0.26 damage upgrade? Oh, secret room. I will treat Dogtooth with a little respect here. What? Okay. Must have placed it a millimeter away from the expected area. That's my bad. Oh, okay, we have actually good damage now. Genuinely good... Like... Right home to mom. Mom, we finally got ourselves set up with some decent damage. It looks best when we enter a room. Because we don't have to charge. Oh, we did get a rate of fire increase at some point down the line as well. Where did that come from? Must have been from Death's List somewhere. It's like the first rate of fire increase, so it almost doubled our rate of fire. It's a dream come true. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alright, I would like it if you would stop going ahead. You've gone ahead too far. Long enough. How on earth is this working? Nah, we screwed it up, but still. <laughs> the fact that that temporarily worked was hilarious. I will say, Brimstone plus Death's List is a, like, real off-the-book synergy. 
You can get downright surgical with the way you kill enemies with these two items. It's like the opposite of Ipecac. Ipecac is like a stick of dynamite. This is like a scalpel. Yeah, okay. You know, I forgive you, sort of. Just give me a start on our next run that is not poison. It's another rate of fire increase. I'm not mad. Old NL would be mad. He'd be like, now you give me the rate of fire increase now that I've already won the run without it. N new me is just like, dude, this is good for my quality of life. I'm not complaining anymore. Look at that. This is what I always knew this run had in it. Another speed upgrade. Hallowed ground and an item I don't even understand. Ah, we've hit some dead ends. Two 50 minute long Isaac episodes. Dude, I'm ex I gotta take the rest of the day on. <laughs> but with a different game. See, this is. We got a little steamroll going now. Now that we got some damage, Death's List is even better. And I understand it to a, a genuine degree. Shouldn't have done that. We will win. And in its own unbelievable fashion, this run is easier than yesterday's. Because there is... You know, we live in a crazy world that makes no sense. Yet here we are. You want to know how I know it's a crazy world that makes no sense? We don't have Whore of Babylon, I think. But, we do have permanent Polaroid invincibility. How does that work? I'm free. Let me go. Thanks for watching. More anecdotes next time. I'll see you then!